Oh, okay. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, the videos I tried last night didn't uh, work too well and it got too late and blah blah blah. So it ended when I, uh, I wanted to tell you about um, how I have been getting better. And uh, for those of you that follow me on Facebook, you saw when I was just in the hospital again uh, last February. Um, well, whatever, a few months ago, February, and not walking, and <clears throat> all of that good stuff again. And uh, one of my friends uh, decided to drive me up some cannabis oil, some RSO. And I started taking that, and in three days, I left my walker behind. So, yay! I have been taking it, and you know, when I started to get better after the first few weeks, I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe it's all in my head, and I'm fine, so I didn't take it for three days. Well, I was back in bed. <laughs> and then there's been a couple other times where I missed a couple days, and I noticed it. I mean, it was noticeable. Usually other people notice my brain defects <laughs> before I do. And they actually had to send me home from work. Um, I guess, I don't know, I was so off. And anyways, but yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you. I'm taking uh, RSO, it's Rick Simpson oil. And I don't know, it's so funny to me because, uh, you know, I'll, well, I'll share with you some of my diagnoses. Um, right now I have five cysts in my lower lumbar. I have, um, they said multiple herniated discs. Um, they also said bone spurs on my spine, spinal stenosis, um, what's that other, oh, sciatica. And then, of course, you know, my whatever hip issues and back issues. Dude, I have rheumatoid arthritis, that's another, and then MS. Um, I'm currently diagnosed with all of these things and you know I have my medical records and whatever x-rays and MRIs and you know all of that plus last year I was healing from the uh, uh, neuroinvasive West Nile viral encephalitis and that's when my brain blew up causing me to completely uh, lose my ability to talk walk remember I, I couldn't do anything anyways so that was last March um, so this March whatever starting to heal again and um, so I want to share it with you because, you know, it's so funny when I meet other people and they're suffering, whether it's rheumatoid arthritis or some other invisible illness, you know, whatever, anything that causes pain. And the thing is, you can't live in that kind of pain. And I used to think that I'd get an award or some kind of badge for, like, toughing up the most pain, you know. <sighs> I'm glad I had that brain infection and, you know, all this stuff, because it's just stupid. I'll never do that again, and I understand. That doesn't mean I'm a big baby and, like, every little owie. I mean, for me, I mean, I, I live in pain all the time anyways, so, <laughs> you know, but, like, to live into eight or nine or ten is just dumb. So, you know, two or three, all right, I can still live, but, you know, it wipes you out, and that in itself messes up your memory and, you know, things like that. So it's just not good. It weakens your immune system. It stresses you out. You're unable to deal with things emotionally as well as you would um, if you weren't in constant pain. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> there's a lot of people that are diagnosed with arthritis or MS or lupus or bursitis or tendonitis or you know whatever it is that's causing you pain and the fact of the matter is our healthcare system absolutely sucks and chances are you have any of those things you're going to live in pain and hopefully you'll just get addicted to some pills and then you know go away right according to the doctors that's what they want and here's the thing I can show you my pictures from before the hospital and after the hospital and you can see the pictures as I'm deteriorating in the hospital and for me you know it, it just it doesn't work 
it makes things worse. And I can't just be disabled and sit in bed for the rest of my life. I can't. Sorry. I'm glad the rest of you have that luxury. I don't. Okay. Nobody to, you know, whatever. Take care of me, wipe my ass, this and that, which clearly, you know, we've seen that in the last year and a half. Where was everybody? <laughs> exactly. So, you know, anyways, there's people in pain and, and they just want to complain about it. Like, oh, this hurts so bad or blah, blah, blah. And I explain, look, you don't have to be in pain. And I share with them, all of those things still exist. The cysts weren't cut out. The herniated discs weren't fixed. My nerve damage wasn't fixed. But none of that was surgically fixed, repaired, removed, or anything. All I am doing <clears throat> is taking these two little tubes is like a month almost of medicine for me. These two little tubes makes it like none of those things exist and have been helping me. I mean, I'm thinking clearer, more clear every day. I'm remembering more things now when people bring something up, like it'll trigger a memory. And I mean, it's, it's been amazing for me and I'll show you how easy it is. So, uh, at night I take the, there's a high, <clears throat> this one's higher in THC. And this one's higher in CBD. Um, so at night I take the higher THC one because I don't want to be high. But I'll just do that now. I just take a tiny little dab. Please come out there. You go. Oops. Wait. How do you? Can you see it? Okay. Yeah. So just tiny what? That's it. <laughs> no pills, no nothing, no side effects other than feeling better, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll take the CBD. Um, usually I don't need it, um, but right now I'm trying out a new combination because all my other medicine had come from the same place before, and this is my first time uh, getting new ones. But I called the old place and, you know, did all that to work it up because I... I can't be disabled anymore. Clearly, nobody's gonna feed me, <laughs> right? So, yeah, I don't have time for this shit. Plus, it just sucks, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so here's the thing. It cracks me up. So you meet people in pain, and, you know, they want to complain about it. Then you give them a solution, and they're, oh, but that's a drug. <laughs> Wait, what are you taking? Oh, 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 Ambien, and oh, and Adderall, oh, and Xanax, and uh, Hydrocodone, and Flex, oh yeah, those aren't drugs, that's right. <laughs> that little paste <laughs> that I take before bed, it is such a scary, dangerous drug. Come on, really? So you would rather be in pain, use a walk or a wheelchair, complain all day, every day, have a short temper, you know, basically just freaking hate life because you're afraid to take a drug. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. You are on drugs already. Mm -hmm. And unless you're a breatharian, uh, let me, what, what is a drug? Let's break it down. Uh, anything that alters your chemistry. Okay, so sugar, yeah, sugar is one of, if not the most, dangerous drugs out there. Uh, caffeine, oh, you don't drink coffee, yeah, you're better than that. You drink tea, oh, yeah, oh, or soda, is it, oh, no, you're better than that. You drink hot chocolate, or uh, energy drinks, or whatever, you know, and that's not even, like, natural caffeine, but whatever, you know, hello, those alter your chemistry, those are drugs too. Guess what, the word drug, where that came from, uh, the Dutch word druga, uh, it meant to dry the herb. So uh, let's see, when you're putting oregano, shaking that on your pizza, uh, <laughs> you're doing a drug, drug, 
means to dry the herb. So any dried herb, basil, turmeric, uh, thyme, uh, marjoram, uh, you name it, dandelions, okay, that's a drug. So, you know, you have two choices. You can be all anal and stiff and, oh my God, I watched Reefer Madness in the 1920s and those potheads are out to get us. <laughs> and stay sick, stay in pain, keep doing drugs, give yourself more disease, which will necessitate more drugs and no cure and just enter that downward spiral, that vicious cycle, if you want to. But I'm telling you, dude, this little drop dab of oil has given me life. And a lot, oh crap, sorry. And a lot, I mean, you know, just I'm, millions of people have stories, you know, whether it's cured their cancer, whether it's cured their diabetes, whether it's cured their autoimmune disease or whatever. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm cured yet. I know that when I am able to be in a house and have running water and, you know, wipe my ass and all of that good stuff again, juice for myself, cook my own delicious, healthy food, grow my own food, I'm not going to be having problems like I am. I mean, obviously my health, anybody's health would suffer being homeless, period. So <laughs> it just is that way. But um, yeah, the RSO, the Rick Simpson oil, I just, I can't believe what it has done for me and I would just encourage you to go look into it for yourself because nobody needs to live in pain if you've watched my channel or YouTube or whatever in the last 10 years you know what I've gone through in fact check that this is kind of cool actually to think about because people that were listening to my show 10 years ago they saw me when I was healthy then they saw me get disabled and put in a wheelchair then they saw me heal, <laughs> and then I was healed until the, you know, brown recluse and mosquitoes. It took a little mosquito to bring me down. <laughs> Good job, thanks. Anyways, um, yeah, and that's another video. I actually do want to talk about that, um, the mosquito and the ego. Yeah, keep reminding me about that. There's a few in my head, but I've been really busy. You know, homeless life is not easy. Chasing down showers, chasing down $5 loads of laundry. Oh, quarter showers too, by the way, but the restrooms close at 5. Um, you know, it's just hard and keeping up work and keeping everything. So that's why I haven't really been doing updates and, and sharing like... I would like to, and some of you <laughs> would like me to, but uh, yeah, Rick Simpson oil, and I, well, I'll just say this, when I had my brain infection and all that stuff in Florida, I was using only CBD oil, and okay, I hesitate to say it didn't help, because I really don't know, I probably should have ended up dead Maybe it helped prevent that. But all I know is it did not prevent my brain from completely blowing up, me losing my memory, me losing all ability, muscle coordination, balance, ability to talk, ability to walk. So, and, and I've heard and I've read, and with everything I know about herbs and life and and the universe and nature in general is uh, man is not smarter than God. And you can't just take one compound or isolate one compound and expect it to be better than what nature intended. Um, so I agree with what I've heard about, um, you know, getting the ratios like the one to one or two to one or something that's more natural the way... <laughs> the plant was created to begin with. Um, but yeah, when I had the CBD, just the CBD oil, I, my brain still blew up. I was still in constant agonizing pain. My other friend who was doing the CBD oil died. Well, everyone I know that's done the CBD and THC together the way nature intended them to work together, well, they're all doing better. They're all... Doing great. So, 
Anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with me. That's how I have been able to heal myself in such a short time uh, the last few months. I mean, I literally, let's see, March. So I got out of the hospital the end of February, like, I don't know, 27 or 8 or something like that. And then stayed there for two nights to detox. So in March, I ended up in Tahoe with my friends detoxing from those drugs. Three days later, no more Walker, March. So April, May, June, July. Three and a half months. <laughs> yeah, and this good. And I've been working since the beginning of May. I've had other jobs that include extremely hard labor. Um, in addition to the catering gig, which took up to 20 hours a day, back to back to back to back to back every single day, and then running around in the restaurant uh, where I work now, which there's no sitting there. You're always doing something. And I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good when I'm healthy. I can run circles around the best of them. So... Yeah, I personally want to be healthy, and now that I know how easy it is, and this is a good substitute, if you can't juice and you can't do all those things that you can when you have the luxury of a kitchen and running water and all of those things, but RSO oil, dude, <clears throat> I am going to be taking it forever because I don't, I can't be in that pain. Who wants to be in that pain? Like, seriously, it blows my mind. And, you know, people will ask me, well, Christy, how did it heal your cyst? Or how did... Well, I don't know. <laughs> All I know. And it probably didn't. I'm sure they're still there. I mean, they're there. People who see my spine freak out. And, you know, I mean, there's stuff going on there. But whatever it's doing, reducing the inflammation, which is the cause of pain, right? All pain, the common denominator of pain is inflammation period. So when you have pain, that's why I look at itis, arthritis, tendonitis, bursitis, itis, 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 that's inflamed. So whatever your diagnosis is with the itis, you have pain and it is because of an inflammation. Where is the inflammation? That's the prefix to the itis, right? So anyways, um, you don't have to be in pain. That's all I got to say. And thank you, Rick Simpson, and thank you to the beautiful person and her brother who saved my life by literally, I haven't shared this on YouTube, but I have on Facebook, but she drove like, I don't know, 14 or 17, I can't exactly remember because I was on drugs, just got out of the hospital, eight straight days, and um, yeah, she drove from... Uh, uh, Venice Beach, uh, California, up to Santa Clara, and just did up and back, like, hey, I'm just going to the grocery store, I'm just gonna go bring some chicken soup to my friend, yeah, and brought me those oils that totally have given me hope, and, uh, the ability to have a somewhat normal life again, so... Yeah, for those of you, if you choose to stay in pain because you're like, Oh my god, I don't want to take a drug. Don't ever complain to me about your pain. I, don't, I just don't care. I don't feel sorry for you. The solution is right here. Okay, so hold on to your drugs are bad, or oh my god, it's weaver madness, all you want, that's fine, just don't expect me to feel sorry for you. Anyways, love you, that's how I've been able to heal, and thank you very much, and yeah, I'm gonna try now that I'm feeling better and getting a little more settled, and I have a few ideas, I <laughs> have videos in mind I need to do. Oh, I already told you one you have to remind me about, and I'll tell you about the other one, um, how to not get laid. <laughs> Yeah, and forget the other ones. I have them written down. I <laughs> okay, well, love you. Have a good night, and thank you, and yeah, happy healing. Bye.